Howdy folks, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars and I'm here with our friends Pick. And today I have such a dear friend of mine, Mr. Henry Cooper. JB. Hi Henry, thank you so much for coming My down My pleasure, today. JB, thanks man. This so Henry, uh, he's a blues legend, man. You really are. And I, I called you a treasure earlier. <laughs> That's and, cool. And Henry truly is, man. We go back uh, 25 or 30 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Henry did a, a short stint at the store mm -hmm. as uh, an associate. Yes, yes. Man, just one of the finest slide players I've ever heard. And Henry, in the early days here, he turned me on to a lot of great blues that I probably wouldn't have discovered otherwise. Um, most notably, Slim Harpo. Yeah. Hal and Wolf really yeah. got into that deeper. I'd heard of him before. And, and um, Earl Hooker. Yeah. Really into there. John Lee, but Earl, oh, his cousin, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really tutored me in blues, Henry. Well, I learned a lot from you too, Jay. So yeah, that was man. full of great times, those were. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, we times. had some great times, man. And, and you're still playing. You moved, since moved from Seattle down to Eugene area, yep. right? Mm -hmm. My hometown. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about your band down there. What, what do you what do? Well, you, do? you know, Eugene, Eugene's changed a lot from when I played there in the 70s and 80s. The beer joints and bars are gone. It's wineries mostly now. So yeah. it's early, you know, wine and cheese and crackers and sure. low volume gigs. But it, it's fine that we, I kind of keep the blues band ethic going, but with a stand-up bass and brushes and a snare and, and just do it low volume. And we still get to play our blues and it's fine. It's an adjustment, but it was better for my hearing too, I think. Yeah, and <laughs> do you still do some solo events as well? Rarely anymore. At least do a duo. I did solo stuff when I first came back to town. Some It was really starting to get with my hands and stuff, so a little backup's nice now. Yeah. I don't do them often, but uh, preferably a trio, but sometimes a duo. Mark Schneider and Scoop McGuire are the guys I'm working with. Great players. Uh, good names. Yeah. And you, you just sent me recently a, I think it's about a 20 song CD of like a bunch of your, your best tunes, yes. man. And God, what a great CD. Thank I've you. I played it nonstop in my car. Oh, and thanks. Is that something people can like go buy on a website? Yeah. Or? Henry Cooper Music is the best way. Awesome. On Facebook, awesome. that's correct. Facebook. Henry Cooper Music, thanks. I'm getting prompted from my wife over there. She's prompted from, me. hi, Ann. <laughs> Ann came up too, so good to see you guys. No matter what you have in your hands or what amp you're using, you're just the master of tone. That's oh, kind of your you, trademark man. for me. The tone is always there. And uh, if you could give me one little secret of, of tone, how you achieve your great tone, I mean. Well, I think one thing that really helped was getting out away from picks and just using bare fingers as much as I could. And part of that was I was getting to get tendonitis from gripping that pick. So, you know, it happened for, it was a happy, you know, thing to have happen to me. It did help a lot. And uh, the other one I think is, you know, let the amp do the work and just play the guitar soft. I play slide, but I keep my action pretty low and try to have a light touch. And I think that, you know, you've got all these nice amps that can do the work for you and you can just Right. Try. Oh, but you get carried away too, you know. So, so don't overwork the guitar and kind of just let. Well, the... it's, that works for me. I mean, yeah. I've been some great players that are all over the thing too, but that, that helped me, I think. And, yeah. You know, yeah. Well, it certainly works for you, man. Thank you. Yeah, and you're going to do some playing for us today too. I'm, I'm really excited about that. These guitars, man. I know. I had to pick out a couple cool ones for you. <laughs> I've had this beautiful 1932. National Tricone. It's a Style 4, one of the fanciest, most expensive models that they have. And I've been dying to have somebody come in here and do it justice. And when I heard Henry was coming up, I'm like, oh, there's the man. Mm. So yeah, this thing, all the beautiful and great. Yeah, I mean, this is the top of the line. Huh? Yeah, you gave me a really cool National book when oh. you worked here. And right, I the Brosman have, book. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, Bill Brosman. Yeah, right? yeah. But uh, yeah, beautiful piece. So Henry's going to be doing some slide work on this. Also. 59 Esquire oh, here. Oh, wow. This is a top loader, super lightweight. Amazing. Yeah, this is a great good. It's about six pounds, seven oh. ounces, and he's gonna be running that through that 56 yeah. Tweed Deluxe. And heard you warming up on it, man. It sounds great. <laughs> oh yeah, it sure does. I mean, it's just wonderful gear. Yeah, and the top loader, man. These are these are kind of unique. <laughs> yeah. You know? It uh, doesn't feel that different. It's a little easier to bend maybe, but really it's, uh, and it's light, it plays like a dream. It's, Wonderful. I'm yeah. The stuff you got in here is blowing my mind. Oh, great. awesome, Henry. Well, you were here at the beginning, man, and uh, we're, we're carrying it on. And uh, God, I'm really excited to hear what you can do with this stuff, man. And anyway, man, I'm not going to hold it up anymore. Let's, uh, let's right. cut Henry Cooper loose down Thank here. Thank you. All right, Henry. I'll play this one for a couple of tunes, I think, or one at least. Yeah. We'll go to that baby. Great, man. Thanks again for coming. I'm going to cut you loose. Thank Henry, you so and, much, Jay. Uh, this I just is great. I really appreciate it. I love you, man. I love your music. And Black at you, my friend. Right. Well, goodbye, blues. 
about blues. You know, it just ain't working out. No money in my pocket. And my pot of lies burned out. a million years of living in the bombs and drowning in the beers. I'm getting closer, closer to the time I can spend with you. Just closer, baby, and my work is almost through.
Thank you. Man, this thing kills me. It's so nice. Every time I call, you don't answer the phone. But I know you're there, and I'll bet you're alone. Well, you're running me down, and it's making me mad. Don't you get tired of treating me bad?
I love this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks.